So my dudes, Valkyr, and today we are going to be talking about Frigg. I recently got Frigg, as you guys know. I'm sure you guys will see a meme video before this, and I don't know when this video is going to go up. Either it's the day that the summons happen or the day after. But I did manage to get Frigg. I want to show you guys my build first before I do anything to show you guys what I ran about 40 Phantasm floors on. I ran her from 130 to 171, and she's been a powerhouse all the way through. So here you can see I have her on my Volt team. This is the main team I ran. I use her more as a sub DPS option. I'll talk about it in a second. And I ran her on these really terrible SR matrices that just increase speed of obtaining weapon charge by 10%. It comes, it becomes relevant whenever you understand how I use her essentially. I do think her damage is actually quite nice despite the nerfs. A lot of people seem to think otherwise. I think her damage is actually really, really good because I ran a joint op with her just to try it out. The joint op that's uh, vault resistant, so I ran her on this team right here. Ended up doing about 10 million damage in hard carrying. I'm sure it's mostly due to my equipment because I have very strong equipment and that kind of helps me out, or helps my damage quite a bit. But I want to talk about Frig and how I use her. And now in the background, I'm sure I'll have some footage of me running through the final, or the Phantom Abyss. Spy I was going to say Spiral Phantasm. <laughs> Genshin, man. Anyways, let's go ahead. I'm going to talk about it because whenever I was running her through, I she does genuinely do really, really good damage in an AoE. I think she starts to kind of slack off whenever it comes to single target damage at A0 because that's where I've been running her this whole time. Um, I think that at A0 that her single target damage is really not it. I think she ends up losing out quite a bit. But that's where Samir comes in. That's where my Volt team comes in because Samir's single target damage is absolutely insane. She runs stuff down. I feel like um, I feel like Frigg actually ends up picking up on the weaknesses of the Volt team, which is the AoE and the fact that she's able to charge, so I can constantly spam Samir's Discharge, as well as being inside of her Frost Domain, allowing me to constantly trigger the Witch Time, whatever you want to call the Dash Time, the Honkai Impact Time, I don't care what you call it, it's very, very powerful, and you can trigger it constantly inside the ice domain. You're basically going to be spamming dashes, spamming the judgment slashes, right, and spamming everything, and you're going to trigger discharge, you're going to charge up all your weapons, so you can go into your weapons, do your primary DPS for Samir, I would swap into Samir, use her ult, to or use her discharge to trigger electrify, then you attack the electrified enemies for 40% bonus crit rate, extend the electrify time by... 5 seconds because I have an A6 Samir, so I was using her to great effect in like that. And then, there's the one thing I haven't even taken advantage of with her, uh, her Simulacra passive. Her Simulacra passive is some of the most broken stuff I've read in this game. If we go to her 4k passive, Icebound Frost Attack is boosted by 2.4% every 3 seconds upon entering combat, L stacks up to 10 times, lasts for 5 seconds, so if you're in combat for 30 seconds, you get a 24% Frost Attack boost. It just takes time to ramp up. Once it ramps up, it's really, really good. And then, in addition to all that, you gain Hyper Body and become immune to control effects in the Frost Domain. So basically, as well as spamming dashes, you can't really get hit out of it. You're just going to just run through everything. <clears throat> You're, and her Ice Domain's almost on 100% uptime. I think it has about, like, what, five, six seconds downtime? It's really, really easy to keep it up almost constantly. It doesn't say specifically uh, Frig 2. So, basically, anybody that's inside the Frost Domain just becomes immune and gains Hyper Body and can't get juggled, which is really damn good. Now, the fact that it's only Frost Attack makes it so I'm probably not going to go for it and probably not going to use it. But, if you have a Frost Team, I'm sure you can imagine how insanely strong this is. It's pretty damn strong. 24% damage, Hyper Armor constantly, immune to control effects. It's crazy. But yeah, that's my judgment on Frigg. I don't care what other people are saying about Frigg. I think she's absolutely cracked. I think she has uses outside of a Frost Team, but obviously she's going to shine the most whenever you use her inside a Frost Team. That's where I at least got the most success for her DPS-wise. But using my Super Copium setup, using everything, she has easily worked her way into my main team to the point where I actually went after her A1. That way she can deal just a little bit more extra AoE damage with the Frost Domain exploding towards the end. Although the Frost, although with the A1, it's really not going to trigger too, too much inside my Volt Team. It's mostly just for a Frost pure frost teams which is where i will be using her in places like wormhole or anything else that gets vault resistant up because i wanted a secondary team that could deal damage and i do believe she deals really really good damage anyways that's just my opinion as always form your own watch other content creators to get their opinions on frig this is when an a0 review showcase whatever 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about Friggin' in the comment section below. I think she is insanely strong. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.